In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to configure push notifications for BuddyBoss app. This allows you to receive notifications on your device that will display on your home screen and will also show as a badge icon on your app. In BuddyBoss app, your members can receive push notifications for all of the features that you already get website notifications for if you're using BuddyBoss platform. Additionally, the site administrator can send manual push notifications to members who are using the app. This feature helps to keep people really engaged with your community once they've downloaded the app to their phone. Push notifications will be reminding your members to come back into the app to view the content that they care about. And if I go into settings and tap on push notifications, you can see that we've provided options to members to customize which push notifications they want to receive. And as a site admin, you can also customize which notifications are in this list. This way, your members will only receive notifications on their phone for the content they really care about, meaning they are more likely to keep push notifications enabled for your app. Now let's go into the WordPress admin so I can show you how to configure this. Here we are in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss app components. And we can see that we have four main components, app pages, which are always required. And then we have push notifications, in-app purchases, and API performance. We'll go ahead and enable push notifications. And then let's head to configure and Google Firebase. Firebase is a free service from Google, and this is what actually powers the delivery of push notifications. So it's important that you configure everything on this page to make sure that push notifications work properly. Note that we have another tutorial showing you how to configure Firebase. So make sure to watch that tutorial for more info. Now let's navigate into the push notification settings at settings, push notifications. As I mentioned earlier, there are two types of push notifications. There are notifications that are sent automatically based on actions from BuddyBoss platform. And there are also manual notifications that can be sent by the site admin. The settings on this page are for automated notifications. And you will only see these options if you have enabled BuddyBoss platform. If you have been using BuddyBoss platform, you will recognize these as the same notifications you see on the web related to activity feeds and social groups, member connections, messages, and forums. You can go in here and configure which of the push notifications should be available to members within the app. If they are enabled, then your members will automatically receive these notifications when the related actions occur. Additionally, when members are logged into the app on their device, they will be able to enable or disable the same notifications from within their own app settings, but they will only see the options to enable or disable these specific notifications that you have allowed from within here. Note that you can add your own custom push notifications into this automated notification system via code. You may want to do this to add notifications for third-party plugins or for custom code in your app. We do have developer documentation explaining how to do this, so make sure to check out that documentation if you're interested. Okay, for now, I will leave all of these notifications as enabled. Now let's head over to BuddyBoss app push notifications. From in here, we can create manual push notifications and once we've sent some notifications, we will be able to see a history of all the manual notifications we have sent in this table. Let's send a new notification by clicking on send new. On the left side, we have this form for creating a push notification. And on the right, we have this device preview showing us a representative preview of what the notification will look like for the user, both for iPhone and Android. This is the app icon, and this is the name of my app. And if I go into Android, we can see the Android icon and the name of our app here as well. Before we even send any notifications, let me quickly show you where this data here is coming from. I'll go into BuddyBoss app configure. This field for app icon name is the name that will show in your phone's home screen under the app icon. It's also used as the app name in push notifications. Note that if you ever change this name, it will require a new build of your app. We have another tutorial showing you how to create builds, so make sure to check out that video for more info. And then the app icons are coming from our branding settings. So let's go into BuddyBoss app branding and we're in images. And if I scroll down here and click on app icons, we can see our icons for iOS and Android. For iOS, this app icon is what's going to display in the push notifications. But for Android, it actually will not use this Android app icon. Instead, Android actually requires its own separate icon just to be used for notifications. Android is going to use the icon uploaded in here for push notifications. 
And this is the icon shown in our Android device preview back on the push notifications screen as well. So make sure you upload both of these icons, this one and this one. And note that changing these icons will require new app builds. We have another tutorial that explains in detail how to configure these icons properly. So make sure to watch that. Okay, let's go back to sending our notification. And I can add a notification title, which is optional. As an example, let's say I wanted to tell my members that a new course is available in the app. So I could write new course, and we can see the text is previewing in our device here. And it's required that I enter a message. So let's write something. And so now we can see a full preview of what our notification is going to look like. And I can add a link URL as well. Note that we have a deep linking system within the app. So that means if the link you enter can take you into content within the app, then the app will interpret the link and redirect the member to the correct native content within the app. Examples of content that support deep linking include Learn Dash courses, social groups, forums, and most of the other content that is native to the app. If the link is not part of our deep linking system, then it will open the link within the app's in-app browser. As an example, I could add a link to my course that I want to promote. And when we view that notification in the app, it will send us into the course. So let's try that. I'll go into Learn-LMS Courses. And let's open this course, Cybersecurity Standards. And I'll copy this link and we'll use it in the notification. Again, this is going to deep link to the course within the app. You could do the same thing for a social group, a member profile, a forum, etc. And then for send as, when the member receives the notification on their device, it needs to come from some specific person. So I can send it as myself, or I can pick any other site admin to be the sender. Let's click next. For schedule notification, I can send it immediately. And if I do that, they're going to receive the notification right now. If I click send later, then I'm able to pick a date and time in the future, anytime within the next 30 days, and the notification will be delivered at that specific date and time. Let's go with send immediately, and I'll click next. And now we can select which members will receive the notification. I could send to all members, and note that it says here, select which app members should get this notification. Only members who have downloaded and logged into your app will receive notifications. So this does not necessarily mean all members on your site. You might have some amount of users on the site and only some portion of them have downloaded and logged into your app. So when it says sending to however many members here, be aware that it's filtering your members down to only those that have actually used the app. And if you want to see which members have used the app, you can actually go into the users table. And in here, you can see this column for app installed. If you don't see it, just open screen options and make sure to check it. And for all of your members in this column, it will show if they have installed and logged into the app yet or not. And then I can also pick on specific members. From here, I can search for and pick specific people to send the notification to. And again, the same thing applies here. If you search for a member who hasn't used the app yet, it will not let you add them as a recipient. Or I can go into filter members. In here, we have filters, allowing you to send the notification to a specific segment of your members. If you've been using our access controls feature in BuddyBoss Platform Pro, you will be familiar with this interface. In here, we have four main options. We can filter by profile type. So this requires that you've enabled profile types in BuddyBoss Platform. And if I go into BuddyBoss Profiles and go to Profile Types, we can see I've created these four profile types, which are the same ones that appear in my list. We can also filter by social group. So this also requires BuddyBoss platform. And if I go into BuddyBoss groups, we can see all the social groups on my site, which are the same ones that I can select from. We can also filter by Learn-Course. This requires the Learn-LMS plugin. If I go to Learn-Courses, we can see all the courses on my site, and those are the same courses that appear in here. And then we can also filter by members who are enrolled in a specific membership level from any of our supported plugins. In this dropdown, you can see all of the membership plugins that we currently support. These same membership plugins are also supported in our access controls feature. If you don't have a specific membership plugin enabled on your site, it will be grayed out like this. And if you do have it installed, it will be available to pick from, such as this one. 
We have LearnDash in this list because LearnDash markets their groups feature as a membership system. Let's start by filtering it by social group. I'll check these two groups. So now this notification is going to send to the six members who belong to either of these two groups and who have also downloaded the app. And note that we actually allow you to combine filters in here. So I can click on add filter to add another one. For this one, I'll select membership and I'll select LearnDash LMS. These again are coming from LearnDash groups. These are my LearnDash groups and they both appear in the list. And I'll go ahead and select classroom one. So now we are sending the notification to the four members who belong to either of these social groups and also belong to the classroom one LearnDash group and have downloaded the app. If I had installed another membership plugin, for example, MemberPress, we would be able to pick from all of the memberships that I had set up for that plugin. I'll go ahead and click send notification. And we can see the notification was sent and we can click here to view it. And here it is. Now let's go check it out in our app. And we can see that we received the notification. And if I come back into the app, in our notification screen, we see it here as well. We can tap to view it. And if I tap view, it will take me to the embedded link. And we can see that the deep linking worked and we're brought into the course in the app. This is going to keep your members engaged and returning to your app frequently. And it's also going to be really useful for you to be able to send announcements to your mobile app customers.